The Nutrition Fundamentals are the topic of this week. We're going to look at calories in today's video. Um, so just getting an idea of what calories are, how many we need, and how to actually move forward with tracking and stuff. So do you want to explain, explain a little bit about what they are? Yeah. Um, so we'll go right back to basics with calories. Um, some of you will be familiar with this anyway. Um, so if I'd say the majority of people on, on the challenge who have got a goal, no actually scrap that, not the majority, so um, anyone with the goal of either losing weight or gaining weight, calories are going to definitely play a part. Um, if yours is purely from a performance point of view, then calories and food still play a big part, uh, but not quite as much as what we're about to talk about here. So um, you've got weight loss is, is one over here so if you're looking at, at dropping some or fat loss losing some weight losing some fat you're going to need to be in a calorie deficit which is here um, and then if you're looking to gain weight gain some muscle you want to be just over what your calorie requirements are um, that's the very very basics of it and then again from weight loss point of view calories are the only thing that matter from a health point of view the actual quality of the calories also matters that's probably the main points that you need to focus on from calories. Um, we've had questions in about how to work out your calories as well. That's going to be on True Coach tomorrow. So there's going to be a little formula for you to use yourself. Um, it is always just setting a bit of a, a benchmark, if you like, and then track, see how things go, uh, and then adjust from there if you need to. Yeah, because people always think that you'll have a magic number that, oh, well, that's my number, I'll stick to it and see some goals. But actually, that's just a starting point. So then in four weeks' time, if you've not moved anywhere, then there's the questions to ask of, well, how well have you tracked? Are you tracking everything? Or are you moving as much still? Or maybe you've dropped off the movement? Or, okay, actually, if, you've, if you're doing everything correctly, you've not lost weight, you've not, not gained anything or not lost anything, if you like. Um you've actually just realised that, oh, okay, well, that's maintenance, and now I'll just drop it down that little bit more. So it's not like a magic number. It's, this is your starting point. Now we need to track, measure, and manage, see where we actually need to keep take, taking things every four weeks um, or so. Yeah. Uh, so to actually work out your calories, like I say, look out for the formula that's going to be posted tomorrow, and then keep tracking, and then adjust as we need to, or we will help you with adjusting if we, uh, if we need to from there. Um, I just wanted to say as well, with the tracking, there are different methods of tracking. So you can either literally track the calories on an app like MyFitnessPal, or you could just track by looking at the food that you've got in your cupboards and looking at the amount of calories on the back. So you'll always see like a little nutrition table of how many calories are in each food and the portion. So you can just either adjust your portions or start to measure them out and track it that way, or literally track it on a, on a diary and to keep count of the numbers as they all add up throughout the day. Nothing there? Yeah. I think that's it, yeah. We'll keep it as that for today. If you do any, have any more questions, save them and pop them into the form for the end of the week and we'll ask them for next week. But yeah, we'll have another video on Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>